and a million lives were saved. But I could already see what lay ahead. Years of clear-up, of investigation, and of blame. Don't hug him, don't kiss him, and don't touch him. I got out of bed yesterday and the skin on my leg slipped down to my ankle like a loose sock. The roof of my mouth. I'm done for, Luba. I'm so sorry. It hurt so much. But I feel this guilt. It's worse than the pain. Fourteen days after the explosion, the first radiation victims, the men from the control room, begin to die. Many see this as a kind of justice. But the truth is more dreadful than that. They are no different from the men who saved us. But instead of telling them the risks, the truth about the rods, the reactor, we systematically withheld it. And with all their Soviet hearts, they trusted us. Convince a man he can fly, fly, and disaster is inevitable. Mr. Legasov, the work you have done is a credit to you and your institute. And your report, and the way you reached your conclusions, are of the highest order. The highest. But you will not read this to the international community in Vienna. You simply will not. Now, the uh, Politburo have appointed you to present the report, so there is nothing that I can do to prevent you going. Sir, I'm a scientist. I, I don't believe we can continue... You are not a scientist. You are a politician. Soon you realize that. Tomorrow, the Politburo will publish their judgment that the operators perpetrated a series of crude violations and you propose to contradict the, the Politburo? They, they disobeyed the rules, but they weren't aware of the facts. The potential neutron surge as the graphite tips re-entered was a known problem. No, 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 by whom? Nobody told them. Nobody. We told them there'd never been a major accident in a nuclear plant. Well, there's been 14. 14? And there'll be more unless we change the way we communicate. If they'd followed the rules, the rules are enough. You know the saying, you don't need a god to make an earthenware pop. The secrecy is over. Chernobyl's changed all that. I love my country, but we have no choice. Your report will be examined and rewritten by a committee of our own physicists. They will remove any reference to known flaws in the reactor design, the tips of the rods, etc. They will make more clear the shortcomings of the control room staff. And you will present that report in Vienna this August. Be careful, Valeri. Chernobyl can't change everything. Glasnost may be upon us, but it's not without enemies. There will be victims on both sides. See you around.
I did not speak out. I sat before the world in Vienna and blamed those young men at the controls. I made no mention of the role I'd played in their ignorance. I've tried to speak out since, to topple the myth that I helped create, but the papers I write, interviews I give, are not published. I've done nothing that damaged my career and my standing. It's now two years to the day since the accident. And I have nothing. What shall I think? I think it's just Valery Legasov's suicide caused shockwaves throughout the Soviet nuclear industry. After his death, design flaws in the graphite tips of Chernobyl-type RBMK reactors were finally admitted to and changes hurriedly made. Despite this, Alexander Akimov and his colleague Leonid Toptunov have never been publicly exonerated. Many still believe they were largely responsible for the explosion. Power station director Viktor Brukhanov was sentenced to 10 years in prison, as was deputy chief engineer Anatoly Syatlov. Both were released early due to ill health. Once the fire died, investigators found that the fuel did in fact melt down to the chambers below. Had these not been drained of water, the thermal explosion would have taken place. This solidified fuel that cannot be moved will remain radioactive for at least a hundred thousand years. Official figures place the total death toll at just 31 people, all of them firemen and workers from the power station. The true figure, although impossible to calculate exactly, is very much higher. The radiation cloud contaminated millions of square kilometers. In neighboring Belarus, incidents of tumors rose to 50 times that of the United Kingdom. And 2,000 children from the surrounding area contracted thyroid cancer. A UN report estimated that by 2002, 8,000 people had already died. And within 10 years, that figure will have doubled. The victims of Chernobyl are victims of secrecy and denial. Almost three weeks after the explosion, President Gorbachev made an unprecedented public confession. But even he failed to acknowledge the role secrecy had played in the disaster. Just as Valery Legasov had maintained, some secrets can bring only catastrophe. Next, on Surviving Disaster, it came without warning. The, gas leak, let's go, come on. the most powerful earthquake to hit Northern California for over 80 years. Okay, ma'am, I need you to calm down, okay? It left survivors trapped under tons of rubble. Really in a lot of pain. Back Those who ran to help risked losing their own lives. Get out like that. There's a woman in there. Look, it'll just take you a few seconds, okay? That's Surviving Disaster back in two weeks' time here on BBC One. One to watch.